first we'll prepare the four motors to mount them on the chassis. The motors will be attached to the chassis with these aluminum blocks and with the help of some screws. We'll need the two bags which are labeled for motors, one with the aluminum blocks and one with the screws, the four motors and we'll need these two hexagonal screwdriver that is included in the kit. I have also decided to use some players to be able to tighten the screws better, but this is purely optional. We'll start by taking out the motors from the back. And take the aluminium blocks. From here we will use the long screws with corresponding nuts. I'll start with one of the motors and I'll take two long screws. And two corresponding nuts for them. The motors need to be mounted two different ways. For two of the motors, we will mount them with red cable on the top and the two holes on the top. The aluminium block has to go on the opposite side of this pin here. So for this motor, We'll protrude the screw and the other one we can use the hexagonal tool to help us put the two nuts tighten the second nut Tighten. Optionally, you can use players to tighten better. You can also leave the complete tightening for a little bit later, so you can adjust slightly the motor when mounted on the chassis. This motor with the red wire on top has also the two holes for mounting on the chassis on the top. For the other motor we'll do the opposite. Instead of placing the aluminium block with the two openings for the screws with their threads inside on the top, while the red wire is on the top we'll put those holes on the bottom, so it will be opposite of the one that we just did. For this motor, we'll use another two long screws with corresponding nuts. We start again protruding from this side of the motor 
red wire on top and the two openings on the bottom protrude. And tighten the nut. The same thing with the other screw. Again, we can use the help of the hexagonal screwdriver. Install the second nut. And tighten. Again, for now, I will not fully tighten, so I can adjust everything later. As you can see, as we said, when both motors are with the red wire on top, one has the two openings for the screw, the other doesn't. And we continue repeating the same procedure for the other two motors. Again, pick the motor with the red wire on top. Place the aluminum block with the openings on the top. Insert the screw. Use, if necessary, the help of the hexagonal tool. Insert the second screw. The nuts. And this motor is also ready. It should look exactly like this one. Now we have the last motor. Again, placing it with the red wire on the top. The aluminium block with the openings on the bottom. Use the two long screws. And the last two nuts for them. Insert the screws. And as we said, make sure that the openings on the aluminium block are on the bottom when the red wire is on the top. And we have our four motors ready to be installed on the robot.